Hey everyone, Proper here, and today I'm coming at you with another viewer request video. And for those of you who don't know, viewer request videos are pretty straightforward. If there's anything you'd like me to talk about, whether it's a movie or a series, a trending topic, it's something pop culture, maybe even something controversial, just let me know in the comment section down below. And if I think I'd be able to provide some meaningful commentary on it or bring something new to the table, then at the very least, I'll consider it. That being said, of course, let's get into this video. So this one comes from CT117. He's been asking me to do this for quite some time and I just want to thank you so much just for your patience and support for the channel and I hope that this is uh, satisfying for you. And CT117 asks, what is the fandom menace and what is their motivation and intention? That's actually a very good question for people who don't really know or have some kind of preconceived notions about what exactly the fandom menace is and I will try to explain that as best as I can. So of course this all started about a year and some change ago when The Last Jedi came out. A lot of people were very dissatisfied with the direction Star Wars was going and the way Lucasfilm was handling the criticism. So a lot of YouTubers made videos on this subject and got a lot of traction likes of which include Geeks and Gamers, World Class Bullshitters, and Ethan Van Skyver, who went by the name Comic Artist Pro Secrets. And much like the Avengers, they started out separate, but then they came together when Jeff and Ethan invited Jeremy to the High Council. And since then, of course, you've had a bunch of other YouTubers who have come out uh, sort of following their footsteps. And just to be clear, the fandom menace isn't just one particular person or one group of people. It's the collective. There's a ton of YouTubers that have been getting a lot of traction just simply because The Last Jedi was a horrible movie. And same thing happened with uh, Captain Marvel recently when a lot of people were upset about her comments. And I guess to a certain degree the fandom menace has sort of become a savior for the franchises that we love getting swooped into this trap of having everything in it become more about the political agenda or SJW sort of propaganda as opposed to just telling a good story. I mean, you can have some sort of feminist messaging without having to completely destroy the male characters in your films. And you'll notice mostly on Twitter, there's these conversations that you tend to try to have with somebody who disagrees with you. And what ends up happening is you get blocked or you get a, just a tirade of uh, hate mob comments from anyone who just, you know, blunt, just disagrees with you. Apparently you're a horrible person. But the Fandom Menace is different because we have even included people who like The Last Jedi and but are just able to have a conversation about it. And I guess at this point it's not just about saving the franchises that you love, but also having the ability to have a common sense conversation. And for the most part, when people come after us, all we're doing is defending ourselves. We don't go out looking for this kind of trouble. It just comes to us and you know we just don't do anything to really spark that. I mean, there are definitely some people who really are into that and are into the Twitter war thing, but you know, for the most part, people just want to have a conversation. We don't have any issues or qualms with people a part of any other fandoms. It's just kind of ridiculous. The only thing that we want is to have good movies and be able to talk, to debate like we used to. But I guess since the 2016 election, especially in the United States, that's gone out the window. Can't have a political opinion without somebody tearing your heart out. And now you can't even have a conversation about a movie without having some sort of identity politics be involved in it. And that's pretty much the motivation for the most part. It's not about disliking everything Disney. You know, when they get it right, they get it right and we are happy about it. But if there's something that we don't like, we're gonna criticize it. It's that simple. We're not just a group that is founded upon just hating everything. No, that's not the point of it. You know, it may have started out with just not liking one particular movie, but it's grown past that. We're beyond that point. And I honestly, I've met so many people through the fandom menace that I don't know what I'd do without them. I probably wouldn't even be talking to you right now. And I've seen for the most part, nothing but love and respect for myself, but also for others. And most people have the common sense and understanding to get that you don't just go around blindly attacking people and just hating everything that a company does because if you just do that, then they're not going to listen to you. And that's something that I've noticed happening a few months ago, but luckily we've steered away from that a little bit. But you know, if there is something that we don't like, we will say something and we will say it very loudly. And if you have a problem with that, then have a conversation with us. Be civil. We're not gonna resort to name calling. If you like a certain movie and I don't like it, you know, I could jokingly say that your opinions are wrong. But at the end of the day, I do respect 
your opinion and your right to think for yourself as an individual. So that's pretty much what it is. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button. My feelings won't be hurt. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much and have a great day.